Hey everybody, Howard Jacobson here with a Wellcast, and you can see I'm in the car on the road. Uh, I'm not driving, so this is a responsible use of telephony in the car. What? I'm driving. Hi. Me, me is driving. I didn't know whether you wanted to uh, be public here. I mean, you wave. We can see your hand. Desi. And um, what I want to talk about today is, oh, well, who am I, in case you don't know? Uh, Howard Jacobson, Chief of Behavioral Science at Wellstar Health, uh, all-star passenger on the, we're, we're heading out to uh, Black Mountain to Asheville. inside straight is one where you need everything to line up perfectly so you know there's there's very there's you know if you're trying to go for a full house there is a whole bunch of cards that could satisfy you know if you're if you're uh, after the flop if you want to pick another card there's a lot of cards there's a lot of opportunities to win but the idea of an inside straight is you have very few chances to win, but if you win, you, you know, you succeed, you win big. And what we don't want to be in that position where, you know, another way to put it like the Hail Mary. And we, we often get into this place of, I'm betting on an inside straight when we don't prepare. And, or we think like, okay, yeah, I'm going to this party and we're just like, it'll be fine, right? It'll be fine, I'm sure there'll be something. And if you think about it for two seconds, you realize that's not true. Or you realize that it, there may be things there to eat, but because of your history, because of your past conditioning, because of social situation, you might find it very difficult to say no to the fried chicken and the mac and cheese. Right? You're going out to a restaurant with people and it'd be really hard to say no to this first drink and the second drink and then your inhibitions are down. And so the, the idea of the inside straight is that very often we can fool ourselves into thinking that we're making a safe bet, but we're actually counting on everything in our environment being perfect. Because right? you know the whole thing with, with games of chance, with gambling, is the only leverage you have is the bets you place. You can't, it's not a game of skill. It's not like I'm gonna bet on myself playing chess or running a race or, you know, fighting someone where the, I have influence over the outcome. With games of chance, I have zero influence over the outcome. I can't um, make the cards come up the way I want to. I can't make the ball drop on the roulette table exactly where I want it to. All I can do is mitigate risk. And so we get into that situation when we go out where we think, well, 
and, and we can you know completely miss uh, misjudge risk and we can think well this isn't so risky or I'm sure everything will work out well we want to, what we want to do there instead of like relying on the inside straight relying on okay someone's going to bring a salad and they're going to put it right there in front of the chicken and I'm going to eat the salad and I'm going to be really full and other people are going to be eating the salad and therefore it won't it'll seem more normal we want to bring agency to it we want to bring our own skills our own experience our own intelligence to the situation in which otherwise we would be relying on the inside straight so it's almost like you know in, in a casino you're not allowed to count cards you're not allowed to cheat you can't bring your own cards <laughs> that was a big no-no I remember that that uh, there was a lot of security around the equipment at the casino so all the uh, you know I used to get the dice um, you know they go through a lot of dice they don't last very long I used to get lots of decks of cards and, and all of them had holes in them so we'd, we'd get a deck of cards from Harrah's or a Golden Nugget, and there'd be like this giant hole punch that would punch a hole right through every single card. So you couldn't take that card and go back into the casino and cheat with it. Even the dice, these, these big red sort of translucent plastic dice, they would make a hole in the, right, straight through the die. I think it was usually, been, you know, the faces one and six. And so you couldn't bring that those dice. You couldn't load them somehow and then kind of substitute them for the house dice. And you couldn't substitute the playing cards for the house cards. We can do that if we go out to a party. We can do that by eating beforehand if we know we're going somewhere. We can bring things. And we can prepare ourselves mentally for what do I do? We can prepare ourselves like maybe I'm not going to eat. All right? Just because, like... We have this default sometimes, like, well, I'll have the least bad thing. And in general, that's a fine attitude, but what if the least bad thing is still something that's completely off your plan, something that's not going to get you towards your goals? And our lives are devoted to harm mitigation instead of being on the offense. Right? So that's, that's what chasing the inside straight really leads to. We're going to end up making the best bet we can with a bad hand. And we don't need to do that. Instead, we can think about things in advance. And, and when I say prep, I don't necessarily mean like what some people think of when they think of prepping. Like, you know, if you fail the plan, you plan to fail. You don't have to make Tupperware stacks in your refrigerator and have you know travel with ice chests full of your food I mean some people may you know if you certainly if you're a type 1 diabetic you don't want to like risk you know oh well, I'm sure I'll find insulin somewhere no you, you you're smart and you prepare but also to have faith that you are building your capacity so that in more and more situations you're anti-fragile in more and more situations and, and environments you can forage, you can make do, you can be confident that maybe not eating for this two hour period is also fine. So if there's any questions or comments, I can see them. This is cool because I'm, I'm doing this with my phone so I can see lots of little things scrolling up. If anyone's got a question about this, I can, uh, I can talk about it. Uh, otherwise, I will finish this and uh, we'll head, head on over to Asheville and I'll see you guys all next week. So uh, it's great talking to you. Have a fabulous weekend. Don't go for those inside straights. You know, cheat. Beat the house. And talk to you next time. Bye.